This is not happening. Imagine if she's killing the priest right now. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up? Y'all should board the end. I'm Kulu. Welcome to my channel. Stargirl. Episode 7. I just finished What If Episode 7. Make sure to check that out. Um, Sorry if I'm not that energetic today. I, I got the vaccine and I'm feeling weird. <laughs> but anyway, um... I'm excited Eclipso's out, the real big bad, and he did work on the younger Injustice League Society of America. <laughs> um, I wonder how Courtney and the gang are going to react after getting their ass handed to the previous episode, after watching him kill the other teenagers, except Artemis, who ran away. With her super strength ass. Anyway, <laughs> it's not wasting any more time and dive right into episode 7 of Stargirl. Did I say Stargirl or Supergirl at the beginning? My brain right now. Starting with a church. Is it Yolanda and her problems? Yep, it is. Y'all released the monster into the world. Can I She's trying to justify her killing people again. Girl is broken, broken. Damn. She was cocky when he was dying. Dude is like, what did I sign up for here? <laughs> July 3rd. They getting ready for the 4th of July. You lie, who lie? They think he's missing? Dude, the dead dead. Oh, the staff is fine. It's recovering. The dude is a kid laughing in the street right now. That's what Eclipse is doing. <laughs> Eclipse never had a childhood. He's just walking down hallways laughing. <laughs> I'm making so, so many stupid jokes. They're trying to save the city. Barbara was the new employee, but now she's running the town. His picture haunts her. Oh, he, she's hearing things. Eclipse. Did they bring him back to haunt her? That would be cool for the actor. Oh yeah, her parents made her get this job, right? She needs to chill Sweetie? in life, yo. This dude is more rude. Oh my god, Eclipso! Damn, at least she didn't get fired. Oh, he burning shoulders. There he is! <laughs> trying to be a good Samaritan. I'm sorry, but that kid is so creepy. <laughs> but then he could be creepy because I know what I know. Maybe they should do the Inception thing where they spin the top and if it keeps spinning, they know they're not in reality. <laughs> well, these two date already. Is she gonna run away again? Leave him hanging? Dude, move on, man. Like, it's sweet for the dude, but so dumb as a superhero. <laughs> But and son bonding. We're actually following her mostly this episode. Makes sense, she has most of the trauma. Her reactions are so visible, like she's aching and holding her head, but people don't seem to notice. <laughs> she's all alone because she chooses to be alone in her suffering. Don't tell me she's going back to this damn church. She's just traumatizing the priest at this point. <laughs> God damn, the priest snitched. Damn, her mother's an asshole. She's seeing things. God damn, summer school again. Is she mad at her friend for flirting on the phone? She's texting so, so openly. I'll never be able to do this in my school. Damn, I haven't been in high school in so long. <laughs> Boy is old. Damn, it's the whole pick thing again. Clips was having the time of his life. Don't touch her, man. She gave you a lollipop. Why is nobody noticing her? She keeps doing like very noticeable stuff, but people are not giving her any mind. This is really slowing down the momentum of last episode. They brought him back to play a zombified version of himself. It's obviously not him. They should notice. They know Eclipso's power set. What? You never forgave me? It's your fault for not forgiving me? Goddamn. 
the lack of accountability in that statement. <laughs> Damn, they really brought him back. He was one of the coolest villains last season. She's still in the classroom? Was she screaming in class? How do you know? Is she gonna come clean that? Yo, I actually killed this dude for revenge. Where's Rick this episode? <laughs> the pacing of this episode is crazy. I may be saying this because I'm massively tired. Pick up. He's getting tortured too? It's the broken crystal or a diamond. What is he doing? What? Homeboy is cover, covered by slugs. I think he's seeing shit. The diamonds now have after effects. Great detective work, Pat Dugan. Hey, Rick! Are they having an intervention? Teenage style. How did they not know this? Rick can't judge her. Dude was ready to kill Salomon Grandi, even though he's your pet now. You ready, dude. There you go, Rick. She throwing shade at him. She feels like she wants to be told she's a bad person. Beth can't lie. Now she's making fun of them for not being killers. That's a weird choice. She gonna step to the plate and be boss killing bitch. <laughs> How can you still trust, trust this preacher? Preacher. Priest. Dude ain't saying shit. Is he even there? He's not even there. She's imagining this. How is she getting affected by her imagination? Imagine like a normal person watching her do this shit and there's nobody tracing her. She's out here floating. What? Is this real? Girl needs self-confidence, goddamn. This is not happening. Imagine if she's killing the priest right now. Oh, it's just a torture. What a religious episode. Or oh, the star made her snap out of it. I hope there's a point to this episode. Now she's blaming Courtney. God damn. Courtney better come up with a great reason. Of course, the teenage girl won't know what to say. In this situation. Was this episode making her quit? That's what this whole thing was leading up to? She got her mom fighting her battles now? Her influence that's corrupted her daughter? What? Didn't all the things that made her parents mean to her happen before Courtney showed up? What the fuck? What a weird episode. Like it's good, but it's going totally different direction than I wanted it to or expected it to. But I'm not the showrunner, so. She hid this thing from everybody. Yolanda's got murder on her mind. Guilt. The shade is in the shadow realm. Why are they showing us Beth? Oh, next episode, I guess it's her turn. Damn, this a dude has been sucking the lollipop all day. I mean, what did, what did I say? Creepy as hell. Like, imagine sleeping in here in that kid law. God damn. You watch too many horror movies to not be freaked out by that. Like I said, I don't understand this episode. The direction they choosing to go. After the epicness of last week's episode to slow everything down. The Titans did the same thing with the first three episodes of the Hanks death. Then they slowed down the story so much, now it's picking up again. But here, we so far into the season for them to be slowing down again. I feel like next week's episode is going to be bad dealing with traumas of her parents' divorce and all that stuff. Probably we we'll get more glimpses of The Shade and Dr. Midnight. Then the next episode will probably deal with Rick and Solomon Grandi. Then probably see, see Starman and Courtney, the whole dealing with her. Her dealing with Starman not being her father. Then probably the last episode, they'll finally face off Eclipse. Maybe that's the plan. I'm trying to figure out what the idea or their plan is right now. Because... What was that? That episode was so weird. Compared to last week's episode, it was so weird. It's not bad. It's not bad. I have to make that clear. Still enjoyed myself, but... And the direction it took, did not expect it. Anyway, I'm so tired.
Like your plaque, my reaction. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Deuces.